Dear students, we are in M set mathematics and also we are in permutations and combinations. This is 2A chapter 5, that means 5th chapter. Okay. See, in this uh, class we will uh, do 4 more questions. Question number 13 to 16, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay. See, uh, different models I am taking. The number of ways that 8 beads of different colors be strung as a necklace is. See, here. 8 beads are there, beads means like stones, stones but uh, you can, what will, the hole will be there, you can, uh, by applying thread and all, you can bind, okay. They are using it for necklace, beads are using for necklace, okay. 8 beads are different colors means 8 are different, that means uh, different, different colors, so we can't say which is that color, different, different colors. How many number of faces like that we can do like that only? Okay. See here, simplest thing I am writing, first of all observe carefully, see for, this is circular permutation, first time I think we have, uh, we are doing this circular permutation, until now we have done linear permutation only, okay, circular permutation, circular, per, yeah, circular per, for circular permutation, for circular permutation, okay, see, n here yet see only one more one number is there that means this is n n minus one factorial n minus one factorial okay okay see not over wait for circular permutation n minus one factorial okay see for hanging items hanging items like which one Necklace, what we can say, garlands, etc. What it may be. If that is the case, then n minus 1 factorial divided by 2 we have to take. Okay. See, both are different. This is for normal permutation, normal circular permutation. This is for hanging items, circular only. See, both, both are circular. This is also circular. If this is not circular, then n minus 1 will not come. n minus 1 also should come and divided by 2 also should come for garlands, necklace, whatever it may be, hanging items. Okay. Okay. Now, if you see there, circular permutation, okay, God, this necklace means circular only. Necklace, okay. And also hanging item it is. Hanging. Hanging means what we have to do? n minus 1. n minus 1 factorial divided by 2 you have to take n is 8, 8 minus 1 factorial divided by 2, that is equal to 7 factorial divided by 2, that is equal to, see, 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 divided by 2, that means these 2 you cancel out, okay, if you cancel out, 12, 60, 360 into 7, 7 0 0, 7 6 are 42, 7 3 are 21, 25, okay, that means answer is 25, 20, that means 25, 20 times, 2520 times you can make this, okay, let us go for next question, okay, see question number 14, circular competition only, circular, 12 persons are to be arranged to a round table, round table means circular permutation, we have to do, if two particular per per persons among them are not to be side by side, then the total number of arrangements is like this. You see, rough figure I am drawing, not a big figure. Okay, see, this is a table. Total 12 persons are there. 12 persons means, you see, don't take it all directly. Why? Because two persons are different. These two persons should not sit side by side. That means, this person should be sitting different side. Okay, see what I am writing. Total persons is equal to 12. Different persons. Not different. All are different only. All are different only. Not different. We write good word like a spare. particular persons. Particular persons is equal to 2. That means, see, these two have separated. Net persons, 
is equal to 12 minus 2 that is equal to 10. Okay. Uh, now see what I am doing. 10 persons have 10 gaps. 10 gaps for two particular persons. Particular persons. Is it okay? Definitely okay. Why? Because see, 10 persons are there like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. See, 10 persons are having why? Because see, if you don't keep space in between, then these two persons are going to sit side by side. That is not, should not be there. They should not be side by side. That means, see, here or here, here or here, like that they have to sit. That means, see, 10 gaps are there for two persons. Okay? See what I am saying. For 10 persons, two gaps means 10 P to, that is equal to 10 into 9 into 8 factorial by 10 minus 2 factorial. That is equal to 10 into 9 into 8 factorial by 8 factorial. That means see 90. Or don't write 90. You write 10 into 9. Okay? Ah. See, this is for this 2 persons case. But what about 10 persons case? 10 persons circular for, for 10 persons. See, this is for 2 persons. Okay? 2 persons. For 2 persons. For 10 persons, for 10 persons, 10 minus 1 factorial, that is equal to 9 factorial. Okay? Uh, now, what is resultant? Resultant permutation or number of ways. Permutation or number of ways is equal to, you see, 10 into 9 factorial into 9. Why I have written 9, 10 into 9 factorial? Why well, because see this 10 into 9 factorial shall I make 10 factorial 9 or else 9 into 10 factorial. Answer is given like this sir. 9 into 10 factorial. Okay. Take this. We will go for next question. Okay. See question number 15. This is also like earlier question only. Like this question several times they have asked. That is why I have taken 3-4 questions like this. Okay. I will get habituated. You see. Observe carefully. Why? Because it is same type of question only, but you have to think logically. Then only you came to know. Okay? Ah. Okay. See here, seven women and seven men are there, and around the table they are sitting. First of all, let me study the uh, question first. Seven women and seven men are sit around a circular table, circular permutation, such that there is a man on either side of each woman. Every woman should have one more, one man, both sides, in circular table. The number of seating arrangements is okay. Here also you see every woman should have one man on both sides means automatically seven women sit with seven gaps. Then only this is possible. Okay? Why because seven men are there? Okay. See how I am doing this. Like earlier question only. See seven seven women. sit in circular ways is equal to 7 minus 1 factorial. Okay? Here there is no hanging. That is a simple one. That means see, this is 6 factorial. Okay? This is first case. But the 7 women will leave 7 vacancies or 7, what we can say, empty spaces. Okay? 7 women leaves Seven empty spaces for seven men. Is it correct? Definitely correct. Why? Because see, seven men are also there. They have to sit there. Seven uh, in between they will live. Okay. See, now you tell me seven vacancies are there for seven. Seven factorial. Seven empty spaces for seven men. Ways is equal to 7 factorial, that's all. Okay? Uh. Then total ways, number of ways? Total number of ways is equal to 6 factorial into 7 factorial. That's all. Answer is like this only. They have not expanded 7 factorial to 7 factorial. This factorial. Okay? This is the answer. Take this, we'll go for the next question. 
Okay, see question number 16. Same like earlier question only, but here numbers have been changed. Okay, uh, you will get experience. That also JE question means you will understand how JE also asking questions like. Okay, see the number of phase in which six men and five women, both are different. You see, six men and five women can dine at a round table. That means dining, they are taking food. If no two women sit together, that means see, women should not sit together side by side. What does it, what does this mean? That means see, seven, six men should give six spaces. In six spaces, five women should sit. Okay, every woman should have uh, each side men only. That means these two women should not sit side by side. That is the logic. Okay, we need not draw any figure. Let us proceed directly. See. First we will take six men. Six men circular permutation. Six men to sit in circular permutation ways is equal to six minus one factorial. That is equal to five factorial. Okay. Uh, now these six men will leave six gaps for five women. Six men will leave. Six empty spaces. Empty spaces for five women. Okay, five women. Then what is the permutation of women? Then permutation of women is equal to see six vacancies five women. Six p five that is equal to see. 6 factorial by 6 minus 1 factorial. 6 minus 1 factorial, 1 factorial. That is equal to 6 factorial. That's that. Okay? Understand that? Logic? NPR. 6 factorial by 6 minus 1, 1 factorial. 1 factorial means 1 only. That means see, resultant are net are final. Resultant number of Base is equal to 5 factorial into 6 factorial. That's all. This is also they have not given any number. 5 factorial to 6 factorial only they have left. Okay. We will leave like this only. We will do one thing. Four more questions are there. We will continue in the next class and we will finish here. Okay. Thank you very much.